This company, CanDAO, sent me this 3D camera system and told me that it could produce great 3D video to watch as spatial video in the Vision Pro. But I'm excited to try this out. This is called the KuCam Ego Viewer Integrated 3D Camera. So the camera itself and then apparently a player that you can put in front of your face and watch in 3D in the moment as well. Here we can see the settings on the camera. It's all a pretty smooth touch interface and we can go ahead and change exposure, frames per second, timer, and if I want to log in, we have a full keyboard. It's pretty responsive. So, decided to take this thing to the zoo and see what some 3D footage looks like from this camera versus the iPhone. Right now I'm just holding my phone and the Kandao camera next to each other, walking around the house, testing a little bit of audio, light, we're on auto exposure, 60 frames a second on the Kandao, kind of walking through a dark area here, microphone sounds between each of these and the image stabilization. I realized that the process to getting stabilized video onto my computer from KuCam, I actually have to first go through the app. I can't just go through KuCam camera itself, which slows things down a bit. But for example, if I click on this video here, I have to download it. Okay. Then stabilization automatically goes on. And we can see it looks very stable. Now that all it is is stable, I go ahead and export it to an album. I'm gonna go mono, export. And so I have to do this for each clip that I want stabilized. Otherwise, if I go straight from the memory card, it's just gonna be the unstabilized version of that clip. So in order to convert raw side-by-side -side files taken straight from KuCam, I have to bring them into an app that you can download from their site called Spatial Converter. And it's a very lightweight app, but all you do is you drag in one of the raw KuCam files into this folder that I just downloaded and then open spatial converter. So I have KuCam birds I brought in here. Spatial converter. I'm gonna have it go to my raw Kandao folder, open and convert. We can see it's just a very simple processing. Okay, I'm back about eight minutes later. I thought it was just converting about a 20 second clip here, but I realized I actually was selecting an entire folder to convert. So that took about eight minutes for all of this stuff to convert. And as we look, first off, anything shot with an iPhone, I can now just delete. So if we look at, this is now combined. So that's a pretty smooth process. I'll have to bring them into the Vision Pro and see how they look. Also, by the way, Kando sent me another unopened KuCam Ego, and I'm gonna give this one away. It retails for $300, so check out the description to see how you can win this. All right, thank you. So I have now airdropped from my computer to the Vision Pro two files. It's the same clip where I was holding iPhone and KuCam side by side. iPhone is the 41 second clip on the left. KuCam is the 40 second converted Let's take a look at both and see if we can tell any differences. Let's start with iPhone. I'm used to looking at iPhone spatial video. It looks great as always. Nice detail on the hair of the giraffe. Now let's go to KuCam. You know, I will say I noticed that the colors seem a little bit less saturated 
it feels about the same. I think it might have just a little bit more of a 3D effect, actually. I'm looking right here where the giraffe's nose kind of comes right towards me. iPhone 15 Pro footage shot in spatial mode for Vision Pro is more like looking through a window. Meanwhile, the Kandao footage does have a bit more of a 3D effect. If you didn't know what you were looking for, I'm not sure how noticeable it would really be. So final thoughts on this product, it's actually taking pretty good 3D video in 4K, 60 frames a second. If you were looking to shoot 3D content, you don't have an iPhone 15 Pro and you really wanna start making this content editing with 3D footage, it's pretty cool. There were a couple issues that I had. First off, one clip that I recorded showed black on one of the side-by-side -side images. So I'm wondering if that's just a software issue or maybe I need a better memory card, but I wasn't given any warning when that was not being filmed properly. Seems to only be able to shoot in 3D mode. So if you wanna just use this as like a normal action camera and shoot 2D, I mean, you can still just kind of convert to show a 2D image, but it's gonna be showing, it's gonna be filming two separate images either way. It'd be cool to see a mode where you can just use it as a normal action cam shooting in 2D. But otherwise, it's a pretty cool camera. Just not sure I would recommend if you already have a 15 Pro and you wanna be shooting spatial video, but if you don't have one, you wanna start shooting some action out there, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me know if you have questions in the comments.